You are listening to Toronto's only pure metal show, The Red Switch. contact whatsoever just got up and left and we were like after he's finished his food it was like that's weird that is weird yeah uh, a lot of fans have grown up with your music uh, from the angst years of high school and then developing into uh, a more refined version of your former self uh, would you say Kitty's kind of done the same thing probably yeah I mean to be honest with you like um Growing and changing is a very healthy thing for a band. So I'm, um, so yeah. Where did you say that uh, Kitty's gone from the uh, the early years, from the early albums? I mean, you guys had a very distinct sound from the first album, Spit and Oracle. Uh, what about now in the Black? Uh, where has that changed uh, specifically? I think more than anything, it's just like the whole musicianship uh, aspect. Really, we just. We just learned how to, you know, um, write better songs, be better musicians, and at the end of the day, just just do do a better job at what we're doing. You know what I mean? More than anything, it's just basically, you know, us like learning and our instrument and stuff. Yeah. Have you become a better drummer from uh, the beginning? Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, if I didn't, there would be a problem. Yeah. <laughs> Get the paradiddles down right. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, like, anybody that doesn't change in, like, 11 years has a problem. It's anybody that doesn't grow in 11 years has a serious problem. Uh, Your latest album, In the Black, is out now at fine music stores everywhere. (laughs) Uh, Sounds to me uh, you're a lot more complex and a lot more heavier with this new album. Am I uh, accurate in that description? I think so, yeah. I mean, like, I, I don't think it was really... I mean, from Funeral for Yesterday to this album, it's leaps and bounds. I think only because we really kind of just wanted to make In the Black the complete antithesis of Funeral for Yesterday. We wanted to make it really super heavy and really, really technical. Not really technical, but, you know, pretty technical. We just wanted to... We definitely wanted... A, there was definitely a conscious kind of kind of thing going on that we wanted to make this album super heavy there's been some sort of uh, personal adversities that you've uh, as a band come through over these years what about yourself have you ever had to overcome anything major or small to become the musician that you are now I think (laughs) life is an adversity (laughs) and I think um, if you're over overcoming life then you're doing a good job if you're if you're living and you're having fun doing what you're doing then you know i think everybody has you know things that they have to go through and things that you know make them a stronger person whether that be um in a musician's context or not you know what i mean every everything shapes you as a person every every little miscoming or misstep or whatever shapes you as a person yeah for sure. And Aptly it's put. Me. <laughs> it has? Oh, yeah. How so? Well, I think I'm, uh, you know, I'm just a more cautious person. I'm, you know, I'm growing up doing this. You know, it's just, it kind of makes you second guess everybody. Because everybody in this business is pretty shady. Oh, really? What business is that? The music business. Yeah. yeah. Uh, As in terms of uh, musicians or... Uh, corporate label I think everyone 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 is everybody has an agenda and a lot of times it's not a very good one very true Uh, you've garnered quite a bit of uh, popularity up to this point Uh, with many bands that have a lot of reputation uh, they have a lot of bands that tend to take them very seriously a lot of crazy fans what has been the craziest thing that a fan has done for you or done to you up to this point you know, to be honest with you, we have so, we have, there's so many things that, like, have happened to us in this, like, I mean, like, I've signed everything from, like, babies to, like, prosthetic limbs. Really? Yeah, I've had, it just, like, 
every day on tour is an adventure, no matter where you are or what you're doing. So, every day is crazy. Is there any one specific thing, though, that you can call to mind? We have, well, we have this, like, group of, like, I guess, like, it's a, probably a total of, like, 30 people that, throughout different parts of the states, they come to at least, at least 10 shows a show, or less, 10 shows a tour, at least. They'll take, like, two weeks off of work and follow us. Yeah, yeah, we have a lot, a lot of, like, repeat people. Like, I know people that are on their, like, 150th kitty show and stuff like that. Like, it's insane. Like, I, like, we have so many amazingly dedicated fans. That's amazing. That's great. Uh, what is your favorite kitty song? Oh, the one that I haven't written yet. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, I guess probably, uh... More specifically, what is your favorite kitty song to play? Um, I really love playing So Are I Know right now. It's so much fun. Um, Forgive and Forget is a really good song, too, to play. It's the song that we end um, the set with. And My Plague, which is the song that we begin. That song's a lot of fun, too. Basically, anything new. <laughs> is there any one song that challenges you when you play still? Every song. I, I make a point to never play the same thing twice So when I'm playing live. So I always try and like throw in little stupid things every once in a while. So um, the, new st- the new songs are definitely a lot more challenging. What is the music writing process like for Kitty? Like, do you guys write while you're on the road or do you wait until that time's over? We are not very good or efficient at writing on the road. It's usually with us. It's we wait until we get home. So it's, um, yeah, basically we uh, we all get together and jam after after tour. Uh, how does that come about though? Like, how do you guys write music? Do you guys come up with an idea? Does someone come up with a riff or something? Like it's that? usually somebody comes up with a riff, and then it's always music first. We never do lyrics or anything like that. And um, yeah, it's just it's usually always, always, always music first, and then like lyrics are like a last kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. One last question. I want you to complete this sentence. People should really shut up about. Uh, kitty. I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> um, the Olympics. One of the most important bands of today are. Kitty. <laughs> My day is not complete without. Um, a beer. The sexiest band alive is. Oh, <laughs> um, Ryan Gosling. The sexiest interview I've had is. You. <laughs> Good answer, and you pass.